This is 2SC money, and I just jumped off the port with Dirty Glove Bastard. Lately, I've been thinking about the pain. Take off the match if it's fine. These bullets gonna really leave a stain. That lush really. Alright, so we got 2SC money jumping off the porch with us today. What's going on? What's going on? You know, I'm glad to be here. Yes, sir, man. How you feeling, man? Nah, I appreciate you coming by, too, man. Yeah. So, feeling great. You know how it be. For sure, man. Go ahead and introduce who you got sitting behind you on the porch today, too, bro. Man, and my brother, Lil J, and my brother Lil D, and then my manager Louis. Okay. Yeah. That's what's my good. real team going on. There you go. Oh, that's love right there, man. All right, so talk to us about life on the south side, man. But AJ, every day, like, you get in where you fit in, you gotta move how you move, you do what you do, pick what you pick, like, to hope you pick the right thing and you're not in somebody else's lane. That's why, like, a lot of folk be dying, stuff like that, because folk be doing what they not supposed to be, you know what I'm saying? Just find out what works for you and what you can get right with, just do that. You know what I'm saying? Nah, that's real right there, man. All right, so what was your childhood like growing up there? I played sport, like, childhood too, though, so, like, it was, like, easy on the aspect of, like, like stuff like that, but then, like, you know how it was, like, Folks struggling, same old story, father not there, got to figure it out, got to get the money. Football stock quit, cause no money will come for that, so. Jump out the port, you got to do what you got to do, y'all. See what I'm saying? Yeah. At what age would you say you were when you jumped off the port, son? I was probably all the way out of the port when I was like 16. That when I was just like all the way checked out. Like, yeah. And I knew I just had to do it. Yeah. Did you have much guidance out there at the time, or were you kind of just figuring it out as you went? See, I was lucky. I got bit hold, bit brother that kept me straight. Like, the reason why I jumped off so late, though, because, like, I'd be like, man, I'm struggling. I need it. They're like, man, hell, you want 40 j take this. Like, I'm seeing them run up tickets, like, 100,000, all type of different numbers. Like, I'm just me, you feel what I'm saying? So I was just like, man, I got to get the money like them. Yeah. So I f did what they did when I seen them fuck up. I knew not to do that same fuck up. Like, when I seen them win, I knew, okay, boom, they would've take the win, they would've take the fuck up. So I just, I really had, like, for I could look up to that was doing what I wanted to do. So, like, that's why I just went north so easy. Yeah. Now that's love right there, man. So what position uh, were you playing in, in high school? I played quarter and quarterback. Okay. Yeah. Dual threat, man. Yeah, I was hard, too, though. <laughs> yeah. So why'd you stop playing? Did you finish school or what happened? Life. I, I graduated though high school for sure. Okay. But like, my dude, loud job, stuff happened. Gotta get the money and can't do both. Yeah, no, I feel that. All right, so what's been one of the biggest life lessons you had to learn in your life so far up to this point? If I had to say my biggest life lesson, it probably had to be like, Just win, like, just get the money, like, everybody got problems, like, you can't sit there complain about what's going on, like, everybody got the same stuff going on, whatever they got going on, you know what I'm saying? So I just, bigger lesson be just, just win, figure it out, like, life happens, so what? Figure out what next, like, everybody go through something you can't control, like, so you gotta just learn how to figure out, like, if you hit zero, how you gonna get back, you know what I'm saying? Like, just, bigger life living, just figure it out. Okay, everybody gonna go through something, whatever it is, no matter what, broke, poor, rich, everybody go through life. Just figure out how to win. Yeah, oh, that's real shit right there, bro. All right, so how long you been rapping? How'd you get into this? I've been rapping two years now, but I just dropped my first song two months ago. Okay. Yeah, so like, I'm just now, I've been going through like, artist development with my managers and stuff like that. They've been teaching me how to do the, you know, how to rap stuff, go to page stuff like, promotion, all that. So I've been working that and I'm ready to go. Like now I finna be in your face. Everything been going on two years. Now I'm finna show you like what nigga been working on type shit. I feel that. So what had motivated you two years ago to start at it? You can't be the street forever. You gotta figure out something. You gotta do something like and I can't work for nobody like I can't work for nothing like person cause same way they got a brain, I got a brain. Same way they thought to get workers, I can get workers. So like, I had to figure out like, 
I ain't, I ain't seen nobody make it out the street and just live the best life. I ain't never seen it. Everybody go fucked up, go to jail, dead. Something go wrong, so it's like, I gotta figure out what gonna keep me up. Cause like, you gonna get your moment where you pop, and if you ain't did nothing with it, you gonna flop. If you did something with it, you gonna keep going. So I knew I had to, had to do something with it, cause I pop, pop, like quit. So I had to do something. Yeah, no, that's smart right there. Who'd you grow up listening to? Who were some of your favorites? Probably T.I. for sure. Okay. Uh, Lil Wayne for sure. Um, Gucci Man for sure. Really like, yeah, them for, for sure. Like, all them. Yeah. So, how'd you get the name 2SC? So, 2SC, buddy. For 2SC, stand for Southside Chase, because the 2S is in Southside. And then C for Chase, so 2SC. Like, the whole movement, it called Southside Chase, because a bunch of young niggas off the Southside. They trying to chase some money, gotta make it out. Like any way we all do it. Like everybody in the movement do something different. Now I got boxer, cameraman, football, rock, like anything. Like however you gonna get the money, we gonna get the money. Yeah, I got you, bro. Yeah, but that was two SC stuff. for. That's why I got the two SC and then money. I just get money. Nickname, you know what they tell. <laughs> for sure. So what's your creative process like? Do you write or you just be freestyling punching? I in? freestyle every time. I just go on the beat, hit a beat. If I'm vibing with it, we're going to do something. Cause I'm going to tell you what I'm feeling, like my story. So like, I don't feel like I got to write my story because I already done lit it. It done been written already. Like, it ain't nothing I can change. Like my pad, my pad, it is what it is. Mm -hmm. I got you. What do you feel like brings out the best in you musically? Be around by brothers. Like keep me grounded. Like I'll probably go make like I'm in studio with them. We all vibing, just doing what we do. Folks soon dicing the back, doing what they doing, folks rolling up, you feel me? Like whatever going on, we just vibing. And it just gonna make me vibe right. I can't really vibe with other folk too much if I don't know them. Like it be I just fuck my brother in the studio. Yeah. I got you. And you know, if uh Someone's to tune into your music, man. What do you want them to take away from your music, man? I just talk about getting money, how I figure it out. So I want you to just figure it out in your way. Everybody don't got to do the same thing I did. Like, everybody don't got to go the same route I went. Like, I done have, like, this folk getting money in a million different ways. Whatever way you figure it out to, just do you. And just figure it out. Whatever you got to do, like, just that way I want folk to take, like, Get it how you get it. I got you. Yeah, and speak on some of the challenges that come with being a brand new artist too, man. Like you said, you just dropped your first song two months ago. You yeah. fresh in. I don't know the challenge, cause I got a strong team. So like, I don't really feel like what like the other folk might feel on the upcoming like side. I got the right folks around, right team, right time, and I waited my turn. So it's just time to go. Yeah, I got you. So how did you link up with your manager and Authentic Empire? You know, it's crazy, like, I Googled the um, number one independent um, folk at the time. And AE and Euro and all them folk popped up, so I just went out and reached out to them. And I popped up, like, three times to an event, and I just kept going at Black, like, what's going on, what's your name? Like, I'm trying to network. I didn't know who he was at first. I didn't know he was like the head manager at first. So I was just mm -hmm. network. I seen him controlling everything. I seen everybody talking to him. Like, so I just kept going at first. He wasn't even staying me though. Like, <laughs> like he like, oh yeah, I got you, I got you. But he went back to handling business. I just saw that consistent I was. And he was like, oh yeah, I'm rock with you. You keep working, keep being consistent. You understand? So I just got into it. Like, I get perfect timing for me. Yeah. Yeah, and speak on the importance of having a team like that behind you, man. Big point, like, big thing, like, a lot of headache I don't have. A lot of things I don't got to do, like, like, definitely, like, my management, for so, uh, hard. Yeah. You got your own studio, right? Yeah, I got, I got a couple businesses going on, like, knee exclusive, man, F01, whatever you like, like, then CMP Studio, trying to get that going right now, like, if for sure, net, then you feel me? I got the rap star, I got a lot going. 
Yeah. Yeah. How do you balance everything? I just keep it. I just figure it out when I when I ever going on. Like, I got a five ten. I got four. I can add question. I got good guidance. I just figure it out. Like, have a way. Whatever situation come, figure it out at the moment. Yeah, I got you, man. So, how would you describe your transition? You know, leaving the streets, coming into the music industry. Then it really wasn't the same. If you add me, like. Same way you going somebody gonna do the ugly in the street, the same way somebody gonna do the ugly in the music. Same way you gotta know what you're doing here, same way you gotta know what you're doing here. You see what I'm saying? Like, same way, like, folk not gonna give you nothing in the street, nobody gonna give you nothing in the route. Like, same way you gotta work the street, same way you gotta work the route. Like, it's all, to me, hand in hand, I don't really see the difference. Yeah. Not yet, at least. I got you, bro. Yeah. All right, so what was the inspiration on this new single, Ride the Wave, man? I made this song like two years ago. Hmm. So like, that when I first jumped in the rap, like folk were riding my way before I was rapping. So I was just like, my first song got to be like folk riding my way. I was just talking about what I was going on at that life. Like folk would just hang, telling me I fell off. I'm a young nigga too. Like they telling me like, I'm not even 20 yet. They telling me I fell off. <laughs> so I'm like, y'all niggas just riding the way. So I feel like I got too much motion that you telling me I fell off this young. I ain't even start nothing yet. So. I just felt like nigga riding away, nigga hang down talking, nigga switch her out of that. Yeah. You know how that be. So why did you hold on to it for two years before you finally put it out? I had to learn the game. I just had to bid it first. Okay, the rap is a bidding first. That was for fair to realize it's not about like what you feel and how you feel about the music. If you feel like it's time, like you may drop a song, put nothing behind it, and go no coaching, no nothing. It's just sin. I use your waste of the song that could have top bill or whatever. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I just had to learn what I was doing for. I ain't want to jump in and just not know what I was signing up for, not know what I was doing, and still be trying to do something and then be mad. You feel me? For sure. Yeah. So, how has the feedback been? What are the fans saying since you dropped this song? I, I fuck with love. Like, I got folk, like, I already know DLB tell me to set up new music. Yeah. Like, folk just showing love, like, I just ain't going up. Like, I feel like, just remember name 2 SC Money, yeah, up next for sure. I got you. So, are you uh, working on like an EP, a mixtape, or anything right now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it. I got an EP coming out. I got another project with a big artist. I ain't gonna say no name yet, but hmm. I got a big project coming out. Like soon too, then I got an EP right after that, then mid tape, and y'all gonna see what next after that. Like okay. I got a lot of stuff planned out already. Like it's snowball effect going. Okay. All right. So what type of vibes should we expect to hear on this EP then? Like, just my vibe. Like whatever I was experiencing at the time, I made the song. Life charging, whatever I was going through, whatever I was feeling. That what you gonna get. Like you gonna get the real me. And I know. Any features you've been working with that you can reveal? We know you got a big one on the way, but anyone else you've been working with? Yeah, I got some project coming out with YSN Trap. Okay. On number. With, uh, he got a song out with um, Young Dog. Yeah. Uh, I got a song with Euro coming out. Okay. You feel me? He got a song with Future going crazy. Who I got project with? I got project with a lot of folk. Like, I don't even want to miss no more name. Like, I just. <laughs> Folk know what's going like. Lil Jahar, I got a lot of folk like. What about producer wise, who have you been working with? DJ Drabba. Drabba J. A lot of folk like. I. Gross God. A lot of folk like. Folk going crazy, especially. I work with all the producers at E, they all going crazy. Okay. I got you. So what's your thoughts on the music scene here in Atlanta right now? It's the it way it's supposed to be. That, they how it is. Like, if you make it here, you it. Oh, yeah. Like, folk popping everywhere, but if you popping here, you it. Like, you gonna be popping around the world. So, like, I just know them. I'm, I'm be running in town. Like, I'm up net. Like, I just know it going. Like, you feel what I'm saying? Like, that's what I'm on. Like, What's some of your goals for your music career? What you trying to get out of this? I would have got, I would have really started a record label. 
Okay. And show everybody like what really go out all of this shot. Like it's a hunt, you ain't going crazy. Like, like I got my pot my hair going crazy. Like it's so many folks just going crazy. I got a kill going crazy. The pipe is going crazy. I got a lot of folk going crazy. It's too many folks even named Lil Brian J. Killer, like Cool Lad Louis, like the Cheeto, the like it's too many folk going crazy, like that I just be seeing, like. They just need that platform to get heard, huh? Yeah. Some yeah. folk got it, some folk don't. Yeah. All right, what else you working on? What else is coming up for you for the rest of 2021? So much music, so much stuff. So much time, like, too much. Just stay tuned, just follow me everywhere at 2SC, man, and you're going to see what's going on. Yeah, sure. All right, guys, shout out to like to give before we wrap it up. Yeah, shout out to everybody working. Let's do it. We got that. Ain't shit free to gain. Y'all know what's going on. Lately, I've been thinking about the pain. Take over the match if it's These bullets gonna relieve really the stain. That love shit really left a stain. My mama crying.